everyone, Magic Flying Potato here. We're just going to get right into this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and craft a furnace. Let's just go ahead and start doing this stuff. Uh, as you can see, there is a bit different look on the game. So I am right now in the beta version of 3.2. It lets you um, create male and female characters and it gives you uh, different clothing items as well. So that is kind of cool. I'm not sure when it's going to be actually released for the regular version, but uh, yeah. I kind of like it. You got like this uh, explorer outfit. They got a camouflage. Um, they have a suit. They got spaceman suit. A couple other things. All right. So what I did is I just went ahead and put down the craft it and put down the furnace. So the next thing that you want us to do is place the mortar. Uh, as you as you could also see the uh, the graphics set has has changed as well. They've um, They've re redone the uh, landscape and things like that, so definitely coming along. It's it's it's, it's looking nice. I am going to go ahead and craft a couple of chests as well while I do this because uh, I'm going to put chests in between each item to, to make it easier for uh, storage purposes and things like that. All right, and so in order to make the mortar, the mortar, as you can see, the, the crafting menu has also changed uh order and some of the icons but it, it's actually looking a lot better than it was all right so the next thing we are going to do is we're going to craft and place the mortar so open up your tab menu and new crafting menu for the um the different building pieces is under this little uh this little scroll piece right here and right there is the mortar so let's go ahead and click on that and craft it i am going to place a second furnace down uh for future use maybe i'm going to put it right next to the the first one i dropped and then I'm going to put down the mortar, which is this piece right here. Uh, I'm going to put it... Actually, I'm going to put down a chest first. I'm going to put it right next to the furnace. Try to get it as close as possible. Right there. And now I'm going to place down the mortar right next to that. Just like that. All right, so the next thing is they want us to collect ore. I have already done that. Now they want us to make iron ingots. So what I'm going to do is going to come over to the furnace. Uh, as you can see, it does start off with 20 logs, and these are the iron ore. The iron ore, uh, currently, as of right now, two iron ore makes one iron ingot. So um, let's go ahead and just test that out. So I went ahead and put two iron ores in here, and let's go ahead and turn the furnace on. Okay, turn the furnace off, and yes, so two iron ore makes one iron ingot. So we're required to craft six iron ingots all together. You know what I'm just going to do? I'm just going to throw a whole bunch of ore into my furnace, turn it on, and once I see that it's six, then I will go ahead and uh, cancel it out. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and made seven. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop it into my inventory. That will give us credit for making the iron ingots. Now they want to make a now they now they want us to make a metal hatchet and a metal pickaxe. So that has something that has been changed since the other version of the game. Uh the other version you're able to pick up the metal axe and hatchet, the metal pickaxe and hatchet back at the start. They no longer have them there. So we're going to come over to the tools. Actually, we're not going to come over to the tools. We're going to come over to the workbench. Click on the the crafting the the little tool icon and right here you can see metal hatchet go ahead and do that and then come back over again and click on the the metal pickaxe and craft that oh, did i craft the uh the metal apparently i did not so we'll go ahead and craft that one i don't know what i did the first time around and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna replace what i have down here just like that. And as you can see, I went ahead and uh, got some a new quest, which is collect glass. Now, when they say collect glass, there is no way to collect glass in the game. You have to make the glass. In order to make the glass, you have to collect sand from the beach areas. This is any, anywhere you see the white portion of the ground, aka the sand. Go ahead and go over there and dig it up just like this. And when you see that little... uh. The white piles um, collecting underneath you, 
that is the sand. I'd say four to five uh, shovels. Other than that, it doesn't do anything else. Uh, back up, go ahead and collect it. And as you see over there, collected sand, which is this yellow stuff. Crude salt, which is right, right here as well. This is what the crude salt looks like. And I think I collected a dirty water and a coconut, I think. I forgot what I collected. But anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to the furnace. And the way you make glass is you take the sand that you have collected, put it into the furnace, and go ahead and turn it on. And I'm going to pull my ore out because, as you can see, it was still working on the ore. And as you see now that I put the sand in, it is crafting sand. And for sand, it is a 3 to 1 ratio. So it takes 3 sands to make one piece of glass. So I went ahead and split my sand and put it into both furnaces. This is why I made two furnaces and put them right next to each other. Kind of speeds up the process of uh, smelting things. And as you can see, I made 25 pieces of glass and I went ahead and put it into my inventory. Up at the top left right here, it now says craft jars. So in order to craft some jars, I am going to come over to the, the workbench right here. Click on it. Click on this icon right here, the gear. And right here, as you can see, to make glass jars is right here. And uh, I am going to craft, how do I need? I need to craft 10. So we're gonna hit, go ahead and click on it and select 10 and go ahead and craft them. Okay, so once you're done uh, crafting the glass jars, go ahead and drop them into your inventory like this. It gives you credit and now they want you to craft and collect a campfire, collect iron ingots in a water jar. So this one kind of confused me because it's like I already crafted a uh, campfire, but there is a reason for this. So we're going to go ahead and come over to the this icon right here and uh, scroll down just a little bit. Second one down. We're going to go ahead and craft a campfire. And then once you uh, make your iron ingots and you have all your uh, required resources, now we're going to craft and place what they call the alchemical. Now, the alchemical is actually the cauldron. So you could come over to the workbench right here, click on the building icon, and scroll down. And right here is the alchemical cauldron. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the water. If your water or anything is in your hot bar, you got to take it out of the hot bar in order to be able to craft with it. So I split this. So now I have enough resources and we're going to go ahead and craft this. All right, so once it's done crafting, I'm going to take this, drag it into my hot bar, and then I'm going to come over here and put it next to my little mortar bench. Uh, one reason why I'm doing this is because items that you make in your mortar bench will also be used in your, your cauldron. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop this here. And then I'm going to drop my... Uh, supply box right next to this just like that so now it says we want to collect red and blue flowers which i have done already and now uh after after you do collect your your red and blue flowers it says craft and collect shredded red and blue flowers so in order to shred the red and blue flowers you need to come over to your little mortar bench click e right up here second and third one down is shred blue flowers and shredded red flowers and we're going to make 20 each so go ahead and click on the plus sign until you get 20 go ahead and start crafting and then do the same thing with the shredded red flowers while the blue ones are crafting because uh, it just uh chews them up into the crafting uh menu once you are done with creating the 20 and 20 of both the shredded and blue and red flowers go ahead put them into your inventory and it will update your your survival quest i am sorry that it's getting dark in this game uh i was trying to do this while it was still light so this will be the last thing i do we are going to go ahead and craft the red and blue drink before calling it quits so in order to do this we're going to come over to the uh the cauldron click e the red drink is right here it wants us to craft two it requires water and shredded flour so i'm going to go ahead and split my water out of my hot bar again uh, go ahead and make two of these and same with the uh, the blue drink. All right, so as you can see, I made the red and blue drink. The red drink is for healing purposes. The blue drink is for stamina. So uh, once again, that's going to be it for now because it got very dark out here and you cannot see anything that I do anymore. So I am going to call it quits for this one and uh, we're gonna I'm going to make another one uh, pretty soon. So if you guys like this content and would you like to see more, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button down below. That would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. And as always, you guys have a great time out here exploring in the dark of uh, screw up. And as always... I am Magic Flying Potato, and I am Oot.